Hello, hello. Remember me? <laughs> it's JCK from Quantum Truths JCK and um, I haven't posted a video for a while. I'm sorry, I've been a bit busy. The last one I posted was um, Abracadabra. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. Why do I feel like I haven't done anything for a while? It's been a big week. Okay, Monday was a big day, 22nd of March. That's another story. Okay, but I have been mostly on Telegram. I've been neglecting, I'm sorry, I've been neglecting my paperwork, my emails and things like that. Not because I'm being lazy, but because like I've pulled some like all-nighters and um, uh, I've been looking after my daughter and I've been just focusing on her and I've not had time to do other stuff. But the stuff that I can sort of fit in while I'm, you know, with her is things on the phone and uh, one thing I noticed was that the apps were crashing on my phone since the 22nd of March and uh, a lot of other people were um, experiencing the same thing but one app that was working so my emails weren't working on my phone and I didn't get a chance to go to my my computer uh, one app that was working is telegram and I've been on telegram quite a bit it's easy for me to just chat it's like a you know it's like I'm chatting on just to my friends on whatsapp and things like that and if you have joined um my other things but you haven't joined telegram i would i would uh, highly recommend it because it is a platform that's not being censored although i'm being told that the censorship is um either dwindling or um uh, it's it's getting erased uh, very soon there's a, been a very good turning point for us even though you might not be seeing everything um, like that on the ground just yet it will it, it's it's rolling out okay um, so one thing I had in mind oh by the way so join the telegram group I'll, sh I'll put the links they'll be below um, so there's a get telegram um, it's an app on a phone and on your computer and you can um, find me and uh, I've got a channel on there which I've just put the main posts on and then there's another little private group that um, you can comment on those posts and it, it's like a chat room it's literally like a chat room and it's really what I noticed is it's it's not like a lot of the other telegram groups out there people don't seem to make friends in other in some of these other big telegram groups but this one like there's a lot of people who are making friends and really enjoying very open-minded conversations and discussions right so my intro is very long and i didn't mean to talk about all of that but please sign up to my newsletter which will keep you updated on everything still getting shadow banned as you know um don't know if it's been lifted because of this censorship supposedly um uh, you know not being so bad but i had an idea so we can sit there talking about world events ad nauseum and talk about fear porn and uh, predictions and things like that but you know the one thing I'm really interested in is um, taking back your power and taking charge of your health because we've been brought up in a society for many many decades and possibly centuries where um, you know we were sort of told to always rely on a higher a person in a higher position of power to look after us okay and if we're going to be uh, sovereign beings and we're going to be um, people who you know rediscover a holistic way of living we're gonna to have to learn how to do that ourselves so I had an idea okay I need to do a few things to make myself feel better like health wise okay and I had all these things I wanted to experiment on myself and these were different tools and different um, sort of holistic approaches. And I wanted to use that in combination with meditation and tapping into my intuition in order to get information about what would make my body feel good, make me lose weight, make me feel at my best. Okay, so this would be like a metaphysical or a, a spiritual um, process for losing weight, for uh getting you know raising your frequency raising your vibration having a more natural approach in terms of what you do with your body to get the best health all over okay so be using tools like um, 
oil pooling for example if you haven't heard of that I've been talking about that forever and I've been doing it for a long time but I haven't been doing it recently but I want to start a regime so this is the thing to simple things like apple cider vinegar for example um, we talk about uh, using a pendulum to find out what your food intolerances are you know what what you know what what's the best supplements for you those sorts of things um, and I'll do that I'll do another little video of that uh, you, so using the pendulum, for example, for finding all this stuff, using meditation for finding out what's the best thing for you, um, using uh, frequency tools such as the pyramids that uh, I'm going to interview Charles Zeiss uh, soon. I've got to contact him again and find out what date we can do that. But he's, he, he's worked out these amazing geometry of these pyramids and he sells them and they're getting amazing results. And he himself has lost... 90 pounds since he's um, been using the pyramids and in fact I think he said to me that he lost it quite you know it was quite consistently when he first started using the pyramid and it just you wouldn't think he'd ever had he ever had a weight problem um, so that raises the vibration of your body and gets it gets you to the peak sort of performance it helps heal your body and it also changes the frequency of your food and it gives it a, a better sort of uh, I guess frequency or life force or, or what have you um, also things like um, I know Mark has been using a lot of um, so the the uh, tuning forks so I still need to look into that for myself and I'd really like to try it from what I can see and in looking at the company that that has them um, you know sound frequency and healing is is tremendous I've, I, I, partook, uh, I partook in that years ago back in the 90s um, my voice teacher my voice coach from university who i interviewed sylvia rands you can look for her video with me uh, quite some time ago and uh, she did it with her voice so she actually healed she was experimenting and did, and did some sort of like chakra clearing and stuff with different tones and she knew how to 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 work out which tone was the best one for each chakra point she would clear stuff like past life stuff all of those things just through the tone of voice well this uh this company that um that sells these um tuning forks is amazing you know and they use it and you know and just the interview that i saw with with mark atwood um and uh and the and the man i think his name is charles hulse i'm, I'm not sure if his first name is charles maybe i'm getting maybe it's david david hulse or something like that um, but he uh, he uses tuning forks and he you know and he was explaining how frequency is everything how that is um, you know where the healing comes and how it, it you know a, a um, so he look he sort of reversed the way he looked at the human body because often you know for example you have a pain in your body or you've got something that you want to fix you think oh you know why do I have you know bad skin or why do I have weight extra weight on my body I want to lose weight and we look at it as a physical thing first rather than the energetic body or the aura first the the light body first so he's saying that the light body creates the physical okay and so that uh, you can actually um, your body the way it's vibrating and and what frequency it's at creates the conditions that that it's in uh, nine months before it, it manifests in the physical okay so that's that's how i interpreted what he was saying but the tuning forks and changing the frequency and working with them actually can clear a lot of stuff before they've taken they've, they've manifested in the physical so that sort of stuff is really um really important for us to start embracing as we go into a new way of looking at the earth and the and the way we we create our new way of living we've been through as a collective a massive massive shift and rather than focusing on the people that are not awake if you're awake then start taking charge of yourself you can't wait for the other people just do it just start doing it you by yourself will be you you'll make the the changes in your own life and you will start to vibrate at a frequency that will carry you through to a better uh a better sort of life for yourself okay everything is frequency 
you're not going to manifest the life you want if you're stuck in the doldrums and you're busy looking at fear porn and going when is you know when's so and so going to leave office okay if you're vibrating at that mainstream media frequency and it does have a very very low vibration and it's not good i mean even just hearing a television um, news broadcast you know as i'm walking through a say a medical center or something like that or a uh, a bank or whatever wh whoever's got the, the television on you can feel it you can feel this very negative low vibration if you're in that environment you need to take charge of what's how you protect your energy okay um so there, there's that that you know i want to look at so there's all of these things there's the kangen water that i've got I've got a machine here which i can show you um and uh, that's been doing really great. I mean, I'm feeling really good. I'm using Shungite in my water. I'll show you, actually. Um, so I'll just show you like that. I'm going to have to put my camera on this. Sorry about this. I can never turn the camera around when I'm, uh, you know, I've already started recording. So this is um, my Kangen water in here. And I've got Shungite, which is a... A really wonderful uh, natural sort of crystal and it uh, it's a natural sort of EMF protector and um, so this is kind of like EMF protection in the water it does all sorts of other things as well okay so you just put that in your water and it can enhance it uh, there's some other things I want to show you but um, so using that the other thing I'm going to do I just invested in a rebounder which is a uh, it's like a, a little mini trampoline. Now I got it for my daughter as well as myself because we're in an apartment and I wanted her. It was raining a lot, and I wanted her to do exercise and and you know get rid of all that extra energy that she had. And so I wanted a trampoline, but I wanted the best of the best because I wanted it to last. And I got one. And the reason why I feel I've been looking at these for twenty years. Like I've always wanted one. Uh, a good one not just a shitty you know fifty dollar one um because it's it's lymphatic drainage and I, I've been sort of I was meditating on this and I used the pendulum and it did keep saying it kept mentioning about the lymphatic system okay so I suspect that any type of exercise is not about burning fat for example or you know all of that it's about clearing and, and and you know getting the lymphatic system draining now that's on the 3d level and what I'm told intuitively is that when we're carrying weight or we're carrying attachments, we're carrying cords, you know, we haven't cut cords and things like that, we're, we're taking on board other people's stuff, that gets trapped in our body and it needs to get moving. We need to, as we're clearing, we need to be moving. And this kind of activity, the bouncing, the rebounding, it is probably the best kind of lymphatic drainage um, that can occur and I often go on there now before I do anything that requires um, me to be clear or before I um, clear myself before a meditation etc or uh, I want to do some psychic work okay and it's been working very very well so on a, on, a, on a spiritual level on a metaphysical level it's been working very well so do you understand how we're talking about a holistic approach most people are going to say okay but what diet do you have what, what are you going to do there's so much in regards to that that i'll experiment with fasting is is a main main thing for me i think it's majorly important that everyone does some form of of fasting on a regular basis now if you've got you know really low body fat and you you know you're going to have to maybe just them, you know do a little bit of fasting maybe skip breakfast but i wouldn't be doing more than that if you've got very low body fat but if you have ample fat <laughs> or if you've got um medical conditions that um you, you know it's um uh it's making you very tired etc there's so many medical conditions that can be fixed with fasting just simply not eating and allowing your body to heal itself uh, instead of spending all of that energy on digesting food you know so it's a, it, that's a really big thing as well so I'll be doing I'll be working out some kind of regime with that and reporting back to you on a regular basis I've done this to be accountable but I've also done it as a kind of a public service <laughs> 
because I think there's a lot of people that um, are influenced by what I do and what I say and I just my whole channel basically has always been about it's not about like oh, I know everything it's about I'm discovering things and then I want to share it with people okay so I'm discovering new information from guests I might have on and then I want to share that with people because I feel like it's it's making people aware of different ways of thinking about stuff um so there's fasting the other thing is like a lot of people would say well what sort of diet would be best and some people in this you know love and light community think that being a uh, raw vegan uh, or fruitarian is the best thing to be honest with you I've done all that and I, I, I seriously I seriously was a vegan you know for a number of years and I even did the raw diet for quite a while and all of that I think every human being at different stages of their life uh, um, resonate with different types of diets okay I'm going to be honest with you I've tried them all trust me I've tried them all <laughs> okay but what people don't do is they don't think of it in an intuitive way they don't do muscle testing they don't do pendulums some people do but most people forget that their actual body itself at that moment knows exactly what it needs and that's where the pendulum comes in that's where dowsing comes in okay so I'm going to do a video where I'm testing different things and I'm f I'm working out what the best thing for me at this stage at this time is and so you would do if you're going to follow along you would do this for you okay so some of you will need a, um, a plant-based diet okay some of you will need a keto diet that is plant-based some of you will need a low fat uh, high carb uh, plant-based diet okay some of you will need a paleo diet some of you will need a um, a primal diet okay which is similar to, to paleo some of you will need to um, you know do keto and some of you will need to be carnivore you know seriously you, you know it, it can be uh, that extreme depending on your needs and depending on where you're at in your life uh, uh, at that point you, you can't say this is a one-size-fits-all thing okay that's just my experience and uh, I just hope that by putting this up I will stay accountable because you know I kind of say I'm going to do something and then I don't do it or tomorrow never comes or um, uh, the other thing is you know I need to get a routine so that's that's really important and um, you know this will create a routine in terms of um, I'm accountable people are waiting on a video from me on this particular day for the results of something that's going to um, that's that's going to be this is why I'm doing this okay um, because I see that through this experiment um, I will formulate something that seems to be a more holistic approach in how do we take back our health okay and then you'll discover stuff for yourself now I'm not going to have time to answer questions about what diet you should have or what you should this is my product for you okay it's the videos I don't have time to answer things but you can discuss them amongst yourselves Okay, so you can discuss them in um, Telegram or you can discuss them in Facebook, my Facebook group. You can discuss them on Patreon. You can discuss them um, in um, on YouTube comments, etc. Okay, but basically, I this is my work for you. It's the public work. Okay, so the individual emails to me asking me, so can you give me the link for? You know this that you talked about in that video that I can't be bothered rewinding and just listening to it properly just don't do that please okay just don't do that because that's just silly okay you, you typed out you could have just rewound the video you could have just rewound the video and listen to it properly okay so I thought the first video what I'm going to do is talk about what I intend to do <laughs> let's see if it works what I intend to do in the mornings, I just forgot one of my things ah, in the fridge. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to show you. 
So in the morning, you might have heard like a lot of people say, oh, start your day with a warm glass of water and put lemon juice in it. And you could do that. You can do that by all means. What I intend to do is um, I will have some of this shungite water, which is the Kangen water, which is electrolyzed water. I don't want to hear about people going, yeah, 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 pH, blah, blah, blah. The only people complaining about Kangen water are the people who have never tried it. Okay? Seriously. So um, that's what I'll do. The other thing I want to incorporate every day. Now, um, some people say don't mess up the Kangen water and just have it plain. Okay, that's okay. But seriously, uh, I don't know if, you've, if you have not ever had chlorophyll. I'm telling you, this stuff. Your shit won't stink. Shit won't stink. I'm serious. You, you take you start taking chlorophyll every day in your water. Nothing will stink. Your armpits won't stink. Your ass won't stink. <laughs> your, <laughs> your, breath, your breath won't stink. It's amazing. You can give it to your pets. They won't stink. It's good. It's a it's a natural deodorizer. But on top of that, it's got trace minerals that people don't get. And that includes things like copper, okay? And uh, you can find out information for yourself about what copper does for you. A lot of people in India um, drink out of copper vessels and the trace sort of bits of copper, you know, they can use that in their body. There's all sorts of benefits to it, okay? But it's chlorophyll. It's, it's uh, basically the green stuff in plants, okay? And uh, in this particular one, it comes from alfalfa extract. They usually t put spearmint oil in it or something like that. And it's quite pleasant, okay? You don't want to put too much in your water, but you don't want to put too little. Um, but it's good. You put it in the water and your shit won't stink, all right? Um, the other thing that is exceptionally good, which I've you know been using for years, but I've forgotten the last few weeks, is apple cider vinegar. It needs to have the mother in it. Don't get any sort of purified um, or, or strained varieties it needs to be raw and unfiltered and for ac acetic acid is what is what apple cider vinegar is essentially there's been a lot of uh, scientific studies on it what it does and it really helps people particularly with um, diabetes insulin resistance those sorts of things it helps to suppress the appetite helps to keep your blood sugar stable um, helps to do all sorts of stuff that I can't even remember okay but um, you can take it before meals in your water um, and it will help with, I think, reducing your appetite, etc. Uh, and it helps to blunt um, your blood sugars a little bit. And diabetics, when they take it before bed, there's been some scientific experiments. You can look up scholar, pa scholarly papers on this. Basically, when they take it before bed, their morning blood sugars are reduced. And um, some people put cinnamon and honey with it or just honey with it. I'm not going to do that, okay, because I don't want to break my fast. Apple cider vinegar doesn't break your fast, by the way. The other thing you can take and make and do is um, quinine. That's my looks like piss. Is that really? It looks like piss when you haven't. <laughs> Why am I so crude? Ugh. Okay, so quinine or quinine. However you want to pronounce it. Sorry about the muck on the bottom. I need to get some new bat a new batch. Um, is um, basically the the skins of grapefruit and lemons in water, uh, slow cooked, not boiled, not simmered, slow cooked on a low heat for six, about six hours. You can do it for longer. But you're basically getting all the benefits out of the, the rind and the pith of those grapefruit and lemon. Nothing else. No other shit. Okay? You don't put oranges in there. You don't put cinnamon in there. You don't put cloves in there. It's grapefruit and lemon. Okay? And that stuff is like gold. It's really good for your immune system. It, it I think it opens your, your uh, capillaries and... I don't know, I just feel like it does so much stuff. It gives you a buzz. And um, 
it, it probably enhances the absorption rate of some other things in there. I don't quite know everything about it. It is the magic ingredient in the medicine that was banned. That was supposed to be good. Hydroxy, you know what? Okay. Still don't know if the censorship is around or not. But uh, Juicy and Lucy have a Facebook group and a Telegram group called Homemade Natural Quinan. And Quinan is spelled Q U I N I N E. Okay, sorry, I lost track of the letters. But they will they got all the answers, okay? And uh, it's easy as piss to make. I'm being crude again, sorry about that. The other thing I want to take regularly, which sometimes I take and sometimes I forget, but it's it's God. Honestly, I've seen the benefit on my daughter is amazing, and other people have written to me incredible benefits on their kids and themselves uh, so this is the peel body extra and we had a special with touchstone a few a couple of weeks ago it's zeolite okay it's nano nano sized zeolite somebody said is there nano particles and no nano just means the size of it okay so it's it's able to go into a water molecule it's very fine version of zeolite it's not the powdered version i know some of you take powdered versions of it that's not what this is okay it's but it's a really tight it, it's gonna absorb a lot quicker it's very gentle um you put four sprays under your tongue i've got to remember to do that because i want to give feedback on that and i've got to remember to give it to my daughter because when she takes it her speech improves amazing and i've had feedback from so many people with children with um, speech uh, conditions so delayed speech or speech dyspraxia instant results so this tells me that the speech part of the brain might have metallic deposits or something like, like you know metal deposits or heavy metals and things like that it, it's doing something okay it's doing something it's clearing out the toxins that's really good. You need to drink lots of water when you take this stuff, okay? And start off with half a dose. Don't take shit tons of it straight away, okay? Because it's detoxifying. Anything that's new that you're introducing that's a detoxifying thing, go easy on it because you will have a... a there's, there's a thing called the Herxheimer effect, okay? And what happens is that once your body starts releasing the toxins from the fat cells, you get a bit queasy and you go, because all that stuff, your body's protecting you from all the shit. And it's in your fat cells, because what's in your fat cells is not fat. Okay, it's not a bunch of oil. It's basically fluid and toxins, okay? And it's like a metabolic fluid. And and uh, when that gets released, okay, because your body's trying to detox, detox, I'm sure there's a much more scientific way of explaining this, um, you will start to some people get headaches they might feel a bit queasy especially if they had a lot of sugar in their diet and they've cut that out these are the things that are quite natural to occur that's why you've got to kind of take it easy sometimes finally in the morning before i do anything you know I might, i'll drink water and then i'll do this uh see that coconut oil i'm going to use that for oil pulling so I might do a little video on oil pulling. There's lots of info out there for it. Um, you know, basically you take a little bit of oil. And again, this is detoxifying. So what oil pulling does is it makes, and you can use coconut oil, the two best oils um, from my experience and from my research over many years is um, traditionally in, in terms of Ayurvedic uh, remedies, they use um, sesame oil. But it's not the toasted sesame oil. It's the raw sesame oil. Um, they might also use a different type of oil, but basically sesame oil because it's, it's anti, I believe it's antibacterial, antifungal. So is coconut oil. You can enhance the oil that you put in your mouth in the morning with a, a drop or two of, say, um, Oil of oregano, which is a very highly potent, you just need one drop, highly potent antibacterial, antifungal um, thing. So what oil pulling does, it's, a, it's an Ayurvedic practice, okay? And uh, I can explain it very briefly here. You're basically, um, what I do is you drink water first just to clear out, you know, because you've been asleep. 
uh, get just your normal toothbrush with nothing on it and just brush any kind of just brush it loosely just to loosen anything that might be in your mouth and then you get it, the typical thing is a tablespoon of oil but seriously you got to have a big mouth to be able to cope with a tablespoon of oil you could just start with a teaspoon of the oil and typically what you're doing is you're going to pull you're going to put that in your mouth the oil and you're going to close your mouth and you're going to do that and you're going to be pulling and the, apparently you're supposed to sort of put your head up a little bit and you're basically pushing and pulling and sucking the oil through your teeth okay and it's it's what it's doing is it's pulling out any sort of bacteria any kind of you know th horrible things uh, from your your mouth and pulling it into the oil okay it also starts to pull in the saliva into the oil, okay? So it, the volume increases, okay? And it turns into a white color. Now that's stuff that after you build up to 15 minutes, I would suggest you start with five minutes and slowly build it up because some people gag on the oil. You only need a little bit. Don't put too much in, otherwise you'll gag. Um, especially with coconut, I don't know what coconut oil always makes me gag, but um, do that and uh, once it, you've had enough, you've got to spit this out into a bin. Don't spit it out in the toilet or the sink. You, you'll end up with a whole heap of fat stuck in your <laughs> pipes. So um, spit it out into the bin and then you've got to clean your mouth because it's still got the residue of all the um, oil in there. And you could use um, salt, like sea salt, or uh, and just rinse your mouth with warm salty water and then maybe brush any sort of debris out but rinse it quite a few times and uh, or you could use bicarbonate of soda and do that okay then you can proceed to brush your teeth if you want now what will happen is over time um, there's been feedback on people who've done this that um, their teeth realign or uh, they were supposed to go in for a root canal and they've done this for a few weeks they go back to the dentist the dentist is like huh okay you don't need that thing anymore right it does something to your mouth it does something to your health it also helps you absorb essential fatty acids because you're slowly a lot of people find that some of the side effects are that they used to have dry heels and they do oil pulling for a while and suddenly they don't have dry skin on their heels anymore crazy right um one of the best sites that I've seen that has information like this is earthclinic.com. It's one word, earthclinic.com. Look up oil pulling on there and you read all the reviews. I mean, I haven't, I haven't visited recently, but they used to be the one where everybody put their reviews on. So you could have a look at people's methods and stuff like that and what they do. It's got everything on that website. It's got all the natural healing stuff. I don't know if they've been censored. I don't know if they've been taken down. But that's it that's what i'm going to do in the morning so what i would do is i'm intending to weigh myself Fuck. that's the worst thing ever okay weigh myself and I document that measure myself document that and then drink some water oil pulling and then maybe after a while uh, after that's sort of settled down i'll do some uh, zeolite spray and then i might take a little bit of apple cider in water okay and then i'm going to do some fasting and this means uh no food and i'm intending to go as long as i can um usually so going by um cole robinson who has the snake diet it's called snake diet it's not it's not a diet it's it's fasting regime um so he he encourages people <clears throat> the first time to to do fasting for 72 hours go as long as you can and then break the fast with you know uh, you know not a disgusting meal you know you've got to still you know watch what you eat but there's a lot of information there on his website and his youtube channel he's a bit of a drill sergeant but that's his that's his thing okay so he does that on purpose and calls you fat fat and all that shit but it's funny Anyway, so that's Cole Robinson on the snake diet. But anyway, he says to take uh, electrolytes or whatever in your water. Now, I think I'm going to try because apparently the Kangen water, it's electrolyzed water. Okay, so um, I, I just want to do it with that. 
and and then see you know if I need some salt I'll take some salt and I'll probably take some pot potassium salt which is um, easy to find it's usually the heart salt stuff it's got potassium in it and that will help because it's usually potassium that people are lacking not sodium okay uh, there's usually a imbalance there um, when you get things like leg cramps etc I know people talk about magnesium but it's usually the potassium okay everybody knows about magnesium don't worry about that we know about that okay um, so these are the things I'll be talking about I know it seems like my channel is changing and oh my god why are you talking about health food you're not a health food expert I'm a hypochondriac okay so I know a lot of it <laughs> I know, no I'm not a hypochondriac I just know a lot about stuff because I always wanted to um, I actually wanted to be a naturopath for a while and um, I've always been invested in these sorts of um, you know information about the health and holistic things so this is just one of the things I'll be doing. Okay, now if you're interested, then watch these videos that have this stuff on it. Okay, if you're not interested, don't watch it. Don't put the thumbs down. Just don't watch it. Don't tell me I'm a bitch. Okay, I already know that. So um, that's it. Um, the other thing I will talk about is also like, um, you know, what I'm doing to my face. So one of the things you can use is Kangen water because they've got different. So this is just water. Now I spritz that on my face and it's a particular pH and it, it, it's, it's good for your face. So just before um, you put moisturizer on. Now I'm going to tell you something about me. <sighs> I don't have a beauty regime. Like I don't do the whole, you know, scrubbing and the shit <laughs> and then toning and then the big you know and then the face mask and all of that and then the stuff at night I don't do any of it none of it a soap and water okay and everyone's going to freak out about it but I just I'm lucky like that but what I do do sometimes is I made my own face oil okay and what this is, is it could be like a moisturizer and it gets rid of your makeup, okay? And it's hard to explain, but oil uh, sort of, um, it helps to not only dissolve the makeup, but when you put heat on it and then you, you, you know, use a, a hot cloth and you just sort of steam your face and then wipe it all off, everything comes off and your face looks amazing, okay? And there's there's lots of oil that you could use to do that um, I'm using at the moment I'm exper experimenting with moringa oil where did I get this idea from there was an expensive there's an expensive face oil out there I won't say the name of it but it's basically moringa oil with blue lotus essential oil in it okay and you can make it yourself um, you just got to work out the ratios and that's easy okay because there's a certain sort of ratio for carrier oil to aromatherapy oils drops per you know um, meals and you can work that out you can look it up and work it out right and basically that's what I've done there with this particular oil now I didn't blue lotus oil is quite expensive and I couldn't nobody had it I had to like order it and uh, I didn't couldn't be bothered <laughs> I will eventually but I found now, I know a little bit about aromatherapy and I know just from all the things I've studied over the years, I know instinctively what certain essential oils are for your, good, what good essential oils are for your face. And uh, this particular blend that I found, and it is, they're pure essential oils, um, probably the rose. Okay, so it's got um, ylang ylang rose geranium, which is very balancing and it's, it's good for your hormones and stuff like that. Rose wood, Peru balsam. Palma rosa and rose now rose is very good for your skin as well it's very good for your for wrinkles and things like that so is moringa oil okay so apparently using moringa oil helps with your skin as does castor oil okay castor oil is another amazing thing so this this is the stuff that i'll talk about okay this is a very huge video i did not expect to go freaking 40 minutes my god it's nearly 40 minutes i did not expect to do that but i thought if i just put this stuff out there in a video um, and then you can work out whether or not you think this is interesting to you 
then you can watch some of my other stuff. I'll try to timestamp this one. <sighs> okay. It's a big job. Um, but I'll try to timestamp it so that you know where, you know, you can just look at the topics that I'm talking about and go to them rather than listening to all of this. I'm thirsty now, so I'm going to have some water and um, I'll tell you what's happening tomorrow after I post this up, how I'm going. I'm going to use a, a fasting app 